Hey y'all, so I've come back, it's another day, and last time I was calling these things banks, but they're actually blocks, so each two cells represents a block, so this would be block 1, block 2, block 3, all the way up through block 14. Last time I replaced one cell, it called for like two blocks, say this one and this one, and one bad cell caused codes for two blocks to come on. This time it was this cell and one cell caused three blocks. It caused block two, block three, and block four to come on and this cell was the bad cell. I'm gonna date this cell this time instead of just writing R replace because I don't even know what the date was. It's a good idea. And apparently the person before me it looks like they replaced this one and this one. So now what you want them to read at is somewhere between 7.8 7.2 volts. All of mine read, the lowest mine read was 7.4 all the way through. And then the bad one read 6.3 volts. So it was real easy to test. The other thing I didn't show you, but if, if it reads like 7.4 or something like that, you can load test each one of them. All it is, I took a light bulb, I went to like AutoZone or something, got some little connectors, got some wire, bought these little, I think they're called like alligator clips or something like that. And you can squeeze on, and this is how you load test it. And I didn't need to load test it to fix it this time, but you just put your little thing on here, pow, it lights up. And then you hold it on there for like two minutes, and if it drops below seven, Good morning y'all, I'm in the mountains and I'm working on these videos and I just realized that the sound cut out on this clip. So what I was about to say is, you put the load on there for like two minutes and if it drops below 7.2 volts, then you would know, hey, this is a bad cell. So other than that, that's pretty much all you need to know about testing the cells. And then next here I'm about to show you, I'm about to show you replacing the cell. So let's, let's keep on with this video. And you know what y'all, I almost forgot. I don't think I actually showed you me replacing the cell. So let's just pretend this one needs to be replaced. I'll pick one for, far up. You just kind of pull it apart and then wiggle it out. And then lift with your other hand, lift the bars out, pull it out, set it off to the side. Then this is actually my bad one, but let's just pretend it's the, the good one. You're gonna make sure we got positive, negative, positive. So this shot should be negative. That's positive, flip it around, negative. 